this thing on, this thing working. All right. What's going on? Uh, potential postal employees or people that are looking into the post office. Today I uh, got a chance to sit down with the CCA and get some information for you. Um, this is basically a Q&A. I asked a few questions that you guys have asked me to ask the CCA and I'll let you hear it within his own words. Um, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. And again, this was because I had a lot of people asking me to interview a CCA, which for those that don't know, a CCA has the potential to be a carrier. They start off as a, uh, I'm, I'm not even sure what it's called. I think it's a city carrier assistant. Um, and then they become carriers after. Uh, I don't know if they go from CCA to PTF, part-time flexibles, and then carriers. But um, again, it's pretty self-explanatory. I get right into it, ask the questions. If there's something that I missed, please just comment below and um, ask me. And you know, if I have the answer, I'll give it to you. If I don't have the answer, um, I'll find it out for you. I, I said that in every one of my videos. Um, it's one of the most grueling jobs. And you guys have seen that. I've repetitively said it over and over and over and over again that, uh, post office is not an easy place to work. This is not peaches and cream. Um, and I'm going to just jump right into it. And <clears throat> this is pretty self-explanatory here. I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. I like this shirt. My kids got that for me. Um, so without further ado, we're going to jump right into the video and that'll be it. That'll be it. Hopefully you guys can um, comprehend what a CCA does. Again, this is just a CCA position. Every position is different. All right, thanks. Hey there. So we got a uh, CCA here. Um, works down in uh, one of the stations. He's uh, off right now. I was able to catch him. Um, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. that cool? Yes, sir. All right. So with uh, your CCA job, tell me what what, uh, what, what your hours range. Um, you got to speak up for the camera there, sir. <laughs> Anywhere from 40 to, I mean, it depends what time of the season it is, uh, year it is, but anywhere from 40 to 60 hours a week. 40 to 60 hours a week. Yeah. Okay. What time do you usually start work? 8 o'clock a.m. Eight o'clock and you're eight hour day. We're out of there at four thirty, but we're usually out of there six six thirty every day. Okay, cool. So with your job, do you guys get overtime? Yeah. How's your How's your timing work? Um, I think it's you get uh overtime, time and a half over forty hours, then you get double. Your uh, V time, if you're over what 52 hours, and then so you don't get overtime per day, yeah. And then per day, if you go over eight hours, you get a uh, time and a half. If you go over 10 hours, you get your V time double, double time. Okay, cool. What was your starting rate back then when you started? I think it was like 17.80, and now where are you at? 18.90, something 18.90, and then you'll get your time and a half after eight. And then double time after 10. Okay, cool. So you get overtime two ways by the day or by the week. All right, cool. So um, when you first started, tell us a little bit about it. I mean, it was stressful. but How stressful was it? It was extremely stressful. Extremely <laughs> stressful. But they tell you every, everybody goes through it. You just, uh, after a couple of months, it becomes a lot easier. You got to speak up a little bit. After a couple of months, it becomes a lot easier once you learn the flow of things, you know. Okay, cool. So, um, typically, what do you do when you get there in the morning? 
You got to speak to the people as if they don't know what they're talking about. You can't use the terms that the post office uses. All right, you get in, clock in. 8 o'clock, we clock in. Um, first thing we do, we grab our keys to our routes, go check our trucks. After we check our trucks, we do like a little inspection. After we do that, um, go inside, we grab our mail from the uh, cases. We got little hot cases that the, the clerks throw our mail in. Okay. Grab that, and then uh, we start casing our mail in the cases for, for the route. And uh, while we're casing, the the um, clerks, they're throwing our parcels out for, for the route, you know. Okay. Um, by the time we're done casing, the parcel should be done. So we, uh, we either pull our route down. All right. And in the order that it's going to be delivered. All right. The case. Or we go and load our truck with the parcels, whichever one is done first, and then um, vice versa after we're done doing that. And then basically hit the road by, we want to be out on the road by 10 o'clock. Okay. Usually. So when you're out on the route, you go and you deliver your mail. I don't know anything about mail delivery, so I'm asking you. So you deliver your mail. Some of your mail, from what I heard, is uh, where you have nothing but delivery to the mailboxes right yeah some is um curbside you're driving straight up to the curb some you're doing on um, boxes like uh apartment complexes um some you're walking up you're getting out of every every house and walking up to the door dropping off dropping the mail. it off the, yeah some you don't even got your truck you park your truck down the street take all the mail for the block and you do a quick parking loop parking so, loop okay cool so uh you feel like people got to be fit to do this job or anybody can do it? Um, I mean, anybody can do it. You just got to have a, some type of a, a strong mentality, you know, because it gets hot out there. Okay. You definitely don't got to be fit, but you got to uh -huh. have some type of motive to, to do something. So how many times did you want to quit that job? Every day. Every day you <laughs> wanted to quit. <laughs> All right. Nah. But um, you're still there. You're still there. You're still pushing through it. Yeah, it definitely has its perks. Okay, cool, cool. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, you made it through your day, you delivered all your papers, you did all your mail or whatever it is you deliver. Head back to the office, um, you got, you got a bunch of mail, some of it, it, it's for people that don't live there anymore, or they want their mail forwarded, or they want it held, so you get back to the office and you organize all the mail you brought back, basically. Okay. Um, you do that, and... And you clock out, and then that's your day, really. That's your day. Now, I, I've I've heard you say that sometimes when you think your day is over, what happens? You oh, get they'll a... send you back out, um, just because so, some guys have longer routes, some people work slower than you. Okay. Um, so they they kind of want everybody being back, like I said, by six thirty. So if you, you're finishing early, they're definitely going to uh, use you. Use you. Okay. All right. So the ones that work faster tend to uh, do a they little bit more. more. They work more. All right. It happens. It happens. All right. So overall, in your opinion, is the job worth the money? Um, yeah, it is. Definitely. Okay. All right. So if you have anything that you want to add to this to say to anybody? I mean, we went through the pay. Pay is okay. You went through the work. It's uh, pretty stressful. Yeah. But it's doable. Definitely. Yeah, after you get into the routine of things, it just becomes a routine. It's a just routine. get up and yeah, do what you got to do. Okay, cool. How many days a week you work? Um, sometimes six, sometimes seven straight. Depends. Um, that's for a CCA. When you get moved up to a regular, it's five days a week. You get Sundays off, and then you get a permanent day off. CCAs, we, we're not obligated to have any permanent days off. So we work every Sunday, and then we get a random day off during the week. Okay. Cool. Cool. What would you say to somebody, anybody, that wants to be a CCA? Um, Good and bad. Good and bad. Got to be a hard worker at the end of the day, one. And then uh, got to have, I don't know, some. got to be a hard worker. That's really it. You gotta know that's what you wanna do. Okay.
But nobody really knows what they want to do until they actually try it out. Yeah. So the job definitely ain't for everybody. No, it's not. But you kind of know within the first, what? Definitely within the first two or two, three weeks if, if you're going to be able to handle it or not. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. You think you can uh, be a carrier everywhere in this country? You? Me? No. No? Um, <laughs> yeah, they do want you work in rain, snow, coronavirus, everything. So, um, yeah, it just depends on. It's really hot down here in South Florida, so we got no AC in our trucks. It gets hot every day. No AC? Oof. Yeah, it's hotter in the trucks than it is outside, so. Okay. All right. If you're in New York, you're gonna be getting snowed on. You know. All right, all right. How do the people treat you when you go in to deliver? Like oh, your yeah, your customers. The customers love you, you know. Everybody loves the postman. Oh, everybody love a postman. That's what's up. All right, all right. I hear you guys get tipped sometimes. Yeah, we get tipped out during the holidays for sure. Okay. It's not bad. Nice, nice, nice. Some snacks inside the mailbox sometimes you know all right cool cool so uh i heard something about um sometimes they try to plant drugs yeah sometimes you'll get a box um smells funky looks funky whatever just delivery you're not supposed to i mean you, you could tell your supervisor but you're not supposed to really investigate nothing you just tell your supervisor and deliver it and keep it moving or, or just Listen to whatever your supervisor tells you. Supervisors pretty much they suck. But okay. Alright, cool. Alright, man. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And uh we'll check back with you sometime uh later on this year during the holiday season. Sounds good. Alright? All right. Thanks, man. Yeah, yep. Yeah.